All right, welcome back once again. Our friends from Vibra Hospital are here to tell us about the unique services they provide for patients in the Low Country. We've got Melanie Floyd along with Diane McNeil. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, a very unique uh, hospital here in the Low Country. Uh, not a hospital you would go to immediately, but sort of an intern, uh, more like a, um, a, a buffer in between maybe going home and leaving the hospital. You're quite not ready to go home yet, right. but the hospital is, is you've stayed there sometimes much too long or longer than what your insurance will take care of. Tell us about what Viber Hospital is all about. Absolutely. We complement the local hospitals. We get most of our patients from the hospitals. Mm -hmm. They've had their stay at the hospitals. It's time to discharge, but mm -hmm. they still need a little more care, so they come to Vibra. We are long-term acute care. We average about 25 days in the LTAC side, the long-term uh -huh. acute care side, and we also have a TCU side, which is more of a skilled side, mm -hmm. another step down. So we do get, we get patients from other hospitals, and then they come to us for a relatively short period of time, mm -hmm. you know, less than a month. Tell us about what is long-term acute care. What exactly is that? So I can speak to that. So long-term acute care is the opposite of what uh, short-term acute care is. Okay. That's basically what the hospitals in the area are. They're mm -hmm. short-term acute care. So mm -hmm. when patients like um, our specialty, vents and wounds, have an extension of care or need an extension of care, they okay. come to us. Okay. Yeah. When, when, when the patients come in, uh, they're usually referred by uh, the hospital that they were coming out of, right? That's correct. Instead of going directly home, because mm -hmm. sometimes when they go directly home, the person who's going to be there with them is, is not that skilled as a caregiver. Right. right. Which is extremely important for right. what you folks do. Right. Most of the people we deal with are the case managers and physicians at the local hospitals, mm -hmm. and they're referring mm -hmm. to us. And it's our job to get them back to the hospital community. And meaning the physician that they came from, the, the assisted living that they were mm -hmm. with, we want to get them back to where they were before they went into the short-term mm -hmm. acute care hospital. Uh, again, right now you're taking in about 24 to 25 other patients that come in for uh, an extended period of time. What sort of patients are you getting in right now? So, mm -hmm. <laughs> so we get a lot of patients that have been on ventilators in the short-term ac acute care hospitals okay. that are unable to get off the vent in the three days that is allotted to them. Yeah. So in the event Insurance that you, wise right, to them, right. Yeah. If you yeah. can't get off in that three day period uh -huh. and you have to stay on longer, that's a process and we handle yeah. that process. Yeah. We specialize in that process and yeah. actually, um, we do so well with the vent patients. We don't. We have, you know, most people in the healthcare organizations know that um, not having ventilator associated mm -hmm. events in two mm -hmm. years that's big. Mm -hmm. That's big. So that speaks mm -hmm. to our respiratory staff. Um, we also specialize in wound care, mm -hmm. and our wound care rates are uh, really great. They're <laughs> like very comparable to the nation's, and so mm -hmm. that speaks to the nursing staff. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's a. That's what we do. So with, with, with uh, you've got wounds, possibly burn patients as well. Do y'all bring those in? I, I know that there, there used to be a burn unit at the Medical University, yeah. mm -hmm. but the main one now is in Augusta. Mm -hmm. uh, do y'all have uh, sort of interim care between where would they be at Augusta and then possibly coming home? Do y'all see many Possibly. Of those? We don't yeah. see many burn patients, uh -huh. but it's be, having a burn as a wound. So, you yeah. know, mm -hmm. we, yeah. we can definitely handle that yeah. before we can transfer them mm -hmm. to another facility mm -hmm. if need be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and the wounds that y'all receive, that y'all see in the patients, sometimes older patients where the wound is not healing as fast as it should be. Right. Or, or if, it might if need they were a much younger right, person. Might need a, like a, yeah. A wound vac or something mm -hmm. where their family members might not be able to take care of it as much. Sure, because yeah. uh, cleaning wounds on a day-to-day -day basis, <laughs> some people they, they just can't stomach it. Right, uh, right. But it has to be done. It That's has correct. to be done by someone who is qualified, a nurse, a technician that is qualified. Right. Speaking of nurses, you're hiring some nurses right now. Tell us we about that. We are. So mm -hmm. um, in Viber Hospital, we, we see so many different things. And in short-term acute care hospitals, mm -hmm. nurses get used to kind of taking care of the same patients for just three days. Mm -hmm. We see so many different things here at Viber Hospital. Mm -hmm. It's a great opportunity for any nurse to, mm -hmm. you know, challenge herself and get those mm -hmm. skills mm -hmm. up. Are y'all the only folks located in the low country, located in the state? We are not the only ones in the state. The okay. next closest facilities are two hours away. Yeah. Okay. So we, we do serve this region. Okay. We do serve the entire state. We recently mm -hmm. have taken patients from John Hopkins, Duke. So we get wow. them from all over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
and a lot of times it's family decision because there's family members here. Mm -hmm. And one of the most important things, where are you folks located? We are in the Old East Cooper building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right off of Bowman Road. Right That's off correct. Bowman Road. Thank you both so much for being here. All right, thanks Thank for having us. us. We've got more Low Country Live coming up in just a moment, so stay with us.